everybody here this is get me greek and welcome back to my channel today i'll be reacting to the walking dead season finale after 11 seasons i was a little boy at the time when this show first came out and i was terrified i almost pooped my pants but now i'm a grown man scruff with a beard even though i just shaved recently and i grow muscles and build a mentality Harness in my brain through all hardship, war, and love. The love you lost. And we are now here to the season finale with Daryl and Carol, the last two remaining original survivors of the actual group. You know, those old photos. We're going to go ahead and watch this together. This isn't going to be easy. Is it ever? October 2nd. Oh, man. The originality. I was terrified of the walkers in the beginning, and then slowly became succumbing to the fear of the human. The humans are actually more dangerous than the walkers, some say, on the show. And th look at this. We came a long way. And for those people who survived, survived that crap, the governor, Shane, before that, and then these crazy cannibals, and then the Cuckoo people in Alexandria, and then Negan, Skinwalker, and then here we are with these Fallout white armor boys. I have a lot to say. Oh, we have a lot to say, man. We need to find Hornsby before it gets to anybody. Hornsby. My guts is telling me that a lot of people are going to die this season. Our beloved one characters. Because, again, it's the end. I hear there's some spinoff series where Negan and Maggie are together in New York City. I don't know if that's a rumor or not. It's like every time the screen flash and keep flashing. I might have a chance to breathe for a second. Woo! This world is broken. This isn't the future my mom and dad fought for. The worst thing is without you, Father. You heard her. I have to keep you She's the grime. Hell is gonna rain down on you. It's like I'm so exhausted at this point, not because I'm being bored of the show, I'm just saying we went through so much over the last 11, 12 years, and I'm just like, what now? We fought for so long, we fought so hard, what now? You know, we finish right here. The fight. Together. The Walking Dead, the last episode, part three. Heard stories, walkers that can climb walls and open doors. Really? I was never sure if they were just stories. Oh, baby, we're entering a whole new level of the apocalypse. Wow. Yeah, Daryl, I'm surprised that he survived so far in the show. Again, thanks to the writing team, because um, I think a few seasons ago, I read an article, but I can't really confirm. Daryl on set was really pissed off, and he told the the crew member, saying, you better not kill me off the show, I'm going to be pissed off. The writing team's like, okay, 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 we'll keep you on the show. And then ever since then, he became so legendary. And he's still there, and I hope the writing team still keep him alive. Like, Daryl is actually my favorite character until Negan, which is a pretty unpopular opinion and not because i like him i like him that it's because he was entertaining and you know i'm a, a fan of supernatural the old seasons he was actually on there so that kind of why i like him but rick grime will rick grime return yes and no no means we don't really have confirmed details, but yes, there are some rumors that he's going to have three big, giant, multi-million dollar franchise movie of him himself, you know, in Washington, finding cure or whatever, how to end the apocalypse. It's going to be so freaking epic. I cannot wait for that down the road. But yeah, 
Well, the Walking Dead season finale. We are here. Yeah. The feeling, man. All right. Well, this is Get Me Greek, and this is my channel. I'll see you guys later.